with Christopher Mars, Delta Ottawa City Centre Hotel Executive Chef, Lyft Restaurant. How's it going over there? It's, it's going fantastic, uh, Jeff. We're, uh, we've gone through a massive renovation that's just uh, been completed over the past few months. Good. We've got our brand new restaurant, Lyft. We're coming up with great ideas to try to uh, create that memorable guest experience. We've got Valentine's Day coming up. We've got a uh, winter loo just ahead of us, yeah. and we're even thinking ahead to Mother's Day. So of course. There's a lot of things on the plate for us. I like that, and what we have on the plate this morning are scallops. So already Correct. you and I are best friends. That's right. So uh, <laughs> these are this is a scallop appetizer that I'll, I'll just quickly prepare What's here. it called? Um, seared scallop with uh, braised endive. I like that when it tells you what it is on the menu. That's what, yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no guessing with us. Oh, good. So, um, and it's off our Winter Bites menu, which is a small little promotion we're in the middle of right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate um, a, a bit of an interesting way to prepare uh, Belgium endive, which is a, a lettuce. Right. Um, but it's quite bitter, um, okay. just on its own. So um, one technique to take some of that bitterness away is actually to, uh, to braise it. So I'm going to cut it in about three. Okay. Nice. We've got three nice pieces there. And I've got a nice hot pan here, and I'm just going to pour some more juice. It's probably going to sizzle. Oh, good. All right, a little, a little bit. Orange little, juice. Not as much as I liked. All right. Well, I could turn that up for you. Yeah, perfect. All right. What do you want it at? Like medium, uh, high? High. High is fine. Okay. High is fine. So there we go. I've, I've added a little bit of sugar just to enhance the uh, flavor of the orange. Okay. And I'm going to add that uh, endive into it. All right, so you can so you're cutting the bitterness with the sweet from both the sugar and the orange juice. Correct. I don't okay. want to put too much in. Um, in some cultures, they'll actually take that now and they'll put it in the oven. They might even leave the endive whole. Okay. And it'll actually caramelize uh, if there's enough sugar content. Yeah. So we'll let that uh, do you know, its thing. Do its little thing. I've got a hot pan here. Now I've got mm -hmm. scallops. These are special scallops. These are um, North Pacific scallops from. Um, they're, they've been harvested out uh, of Alaska, okay. uh, which means they're actually sustainable. Right. So it's an ocean-wise oh, nice. uh, certified scallop, which is really important to us at the Delta. I like that. Um, and so now I've got some out here. I've removed the mussel. Okay. All right. And I'm going to just season with a little bit of sea salt. And there's a little bit of pepper there. We'll season both sides. Excellent. And I've got a nice hot pan. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in. Okay. There we go. Right. And you want a hot pan when you throw the scallops in. You want to hear that. You want to hear that sizzle, you, right? You do. You don't want to cook it. You don't. You absolutely do not want to overcook scallops. Right. Um, Non-stick pans are great for this, especially at home if you don't have the right um, equipment to accomplish some of this. Okay. So um, as that endive starts to braise, mm -hmm. I'm just going to baste it like this uh, a little I bit, see. right? You're going to make sure that it's covered. And it, it really doesn't take long. Okay. Uh, the scallops will only take a couple of minutes, and the endive only takes a couple of minutes as well. One of the nice things that we serve with this dish is a, uh, a leek foam. So what we've done is we've steeped a little bit of skim milk, okay. uh, which lends itself it lends itself to frothing a lot better than uh, let's say whole milk or two percent right, milk. Right, just because it's thinner and it, it jumps correct quicker. Okay. So we've steeped some leek in with the milk, mm. and so what we do is we kind of froth it up. Now at the hotel, we obviously have different equipment for this, so we get a really nice thick froth. Right. Um, do you use a stand mixer or, or, or a, hand, a different hand mixer? Or it, what do you use over there? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a stand mixer, uh, okay. which is quite powerful. Yeah. So we're able to get some really good foam going. So just want to demonstrate that. Good. Now I'll turn over those scallops. Yeah, the, the, it's excellent. And it, True or false, this scallop, when you take it off, when it's final, it's prepared, it will continue cooking just a little just bit? Just a little bit. You don't want to overcook it. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely not. Just I always thought I didn't like scallops, but what I don't like is scallops that are misprepared, over or undercooked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you definitely don't want to go over. And the next dish which I'll prepare is, is exactly the same thing, duck breast, right? We, right. These are two, two items which are quite delicate. Okay. So uh, obviously we probably won't have time to completely cook these. Um, well, we, we have a minute left, so uh, we'll see what we can do, and if not, we'll, we'll plate it. So you're still uh, basting this, basically, uh, the endives here. Yep. And this is where you can also incorporate other flavors. If you want to go for a little bit of spice, you might want to throw a little cardamom okay. into that. Oh, okay. Um, anything that kind of enhances the flavor of the orange, maybe right. ginger, if you want to take that approach. The same with the, uh, the foam. Okay. You can, it's, we use a leek foam. You can go in any direction you want. You can go different types of herbs. You can infuse. Uh, tai Chi in there. Yeah, uh, you know it might not necessarily work. If with you're going to do got. this at home, make sure you do it for yourself first and try. Make sure you did it right with spices. If you're going to veer away from this plan, per, unless you you've got some really well, trusting I mean, you friends, know, right? you understand flavors, then you're probably a professional. Absolutely, or so close to. I'll start plating <laughs> this. Okay. So you probably want to give this a couple more minutes. Right. But it's nice and soft. It doesn't really take too too long. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, it's All much right. softer than it was. Okay. It's much softer. All right, there we go. It looks great on the plate, And too. now we'll put the scallops on the plate. Okay. Right. Mm. Lovely. So again, these scallops. are a little undercooked, but 
That's all they right. They just need just another for the minute or so. Showing, yeah. And let's get that froth going again. See if we can finish this off. Excellent. And again, if you're doing it this this at home, just all you need is a few extra minutes of patience to okay, to froth and really this just up. keep it going. That's right. All right, so just a little bit of froth on that. Bread. Oh man, does that ever look good? All Gives right. it a bit of a creamy taste to it, I imagine. As well, well, we're gonna add a little richness. We have a little Ooh. smoked bacon. So we're gonna add to that as well, right? Christopher, I like where your head's at. This and is awesome. We got some sprouts, yeah, sprouts just to color, beautiful. just to add a little bit of color. We're gonna come back. We're gonna do that uh, braised duck. Is that right? Uh, it's a seared duck. A seared duck. Excuse Absolutely. me. That's that okay. sounds fantastic. Uh, that is from Lyft Restaurant with uh, Executive Chef Christopher Mars in just a moment on CTV Morning Live.